Hey everybody, uh, so welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this as best as possible. I'm gonna have to figure out every time I do this. Okay, but still not. Oh. There we go. Whatever reason doesn't like to capture my game uh, when it's paused. So, how's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. Go ahead and I'm going to turn that down just a little bit more because I know I got drowned out last time. So we're going to turn this down. Uh, hopefully it's not too quiet, but um, we'll figure it out. So I've added a few things that I can hear just kind of drowning me out. Um, so you guys might not even be able to hear it anymore. But um, so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to declare this is going to be... Uh, the scene that I want to call out from a crime scene. Uh, make sure it's in auto mode and we're going to go ahead and call the CSI team and it's going to spawn anywhere from four to ten uh, police vehicles. Now it's not supposed to have their sirens loud um, because in the INI file I have it turned to true. Woo! Uh, but you can definitely tell that they have uh, ooh, a little more oomph than getting here. Fight! Um, so in the INI file, I've made it so that you can have them respond code 3. Uh, it's a true or false, so if it's not code 3, they will drive me normal. Now, it's changed because you can see what happens when they respond to code 3. Um, I can do that. Somebody wanted it so that you could customize it with responding code 2 or code 3. Uh, when they respond code 2, they are supposed to... This is a mess. Uh, when they respond code 2, uh, they are supposed to have their sirens on. should be that they respond with lights and sirens, um, or with lights, or with sirens, uh, and then if it's code 3, it changes the uh, driving pattern, so they're going to get through a little bit faster than they did. Now, for those of you who are having issues, oops, having issues uh, with them removing lips, uh, let, let me know, um, is that something, let me see, they're all out of the way, they get out, of, they clean up nicely, it's just a matter of uh, trying to get them here, it's a little more difficult. do this but we're gonna change it so we're gonna put it in our manual mode functions we'll do our start setup um, I did change it so that it won't crash anymore on you guys and set the marker we'll go ahead and set another marker right here uh, for manual mode, it will only spawn the amount of vehicles as there are uh, markers. So as soon as I hit start scene, um, sometimes it doesn't always do it. That's why you almost have to start the scene twice. Um, that's where the issue with the blips coming in is that.
some reason, he's trying to position himself. There's going to be future updates right now. I stopped it from crashing for those of you who are having issues because for some reason um, I check for immersive dispatch and it tries to call a coroner. So for those of you who are having crashing issues, uh, it's either because it can't find your immersive dispatch or you don't have it installed. Uh, but anyway, for right now, uh, we're going to call it good on this video. Um, actually, you know what? No, we're going to, I'm going to show you. My INI file. So the INI file has been updated. You can see mode, uh, open menu, call corner, true. This right here, you don't even have to worry about disabling it because it will uh, shut down or it won't call it if you don't have immersive dispatch or if it can't find it. Then we have, uh, excuse me, backup arrival uh, set to true, which you see uh, does backup arrival code three. Um, so this is where if you want them to arrive code three, uh, they will drive code three, they will drive emergency, uh, and then is uh, siren is silent, um, true or false. Um, but for some reason, it's not actually making it silent, uh, something else that I'll be looking into. Uh, so I'll even right in front of you guys, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll build this. Uh, see the build succeeded. We've got this right here, uh, da, 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 da. and this is my current. So we'll go ahead and copy this over here. We're gonna, yep, do that. Crime scene unit. Make sure that the INI file looks the same. So version. 0.0.1.3. Go ahead and throw you in there. This one we're going to do 0 0.0.1.4. Uh, and I'll go ahead and I'll get this uh, uploaded right now. So we'll go ahead and we will archive that. And I will see you guys in my next video. All right, thanks guys.